Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Claudia. Hi, I'm Ollie, and we're doing the analysis of Drone 360 Vision. So for the industry predictions for the ethical side of the um, drone industry, uh, Drone 360 have announced plans to introduce thermal imagery, as I said earlier, and the improvements to change the use of drones totally. And from the current point of predominantly property-based usage, uh, they're going to be used for a lot more ethical use. Um, if technology improves enough, the future is likely to hold drone usage for emergency services. Um, the whole point of this is to um, really use drones for things that can't really be seen by the human eye, so they are much more uh, needed. Logical growth. Um, the technological movements within the drone industry is meant to and expected to rise rapidly within the next 10 years. Um, in order for both the companies, when they split, to uh, survive and maximise their profits, they must keep up with that. Um, at the moment, as it stands, Drone 360 have made it known that they plan to change their current photography from 2D to 3D and um, to also introduce thermal imagery into their plans. When they change their photography from 2D to 3D, it makes it far more interactive for the customer. Uh, in terms of their ethical um, sides to the industry, they have as I said earlier, they have announced plans to introduce thermal imagery. Uh, this is expected to change a lot of things. Uh, at the moment, drones are used a lot of the time to, um, as more of a uh, invasion to privacy. But within the next ten years, they hope to um, use drones for more emergency service based. In terms of the power structures, uh, all members of the organisations are the owners, only being two of them. Uh, they are splitting up and focusing on different parts of the industry, as I said earlier, and um, if they are to do this properly, they both have said that they wanted to um, build small teams together separately and to um, yeah, build a small team of around three to four people and focus on separate companies in that way. Drone 360 are one of the few in the north who have a legal license to fly the drones. Um, a lot of the companies and a lot of people who are flying drones currently do not have a license and are flying them therefore illegally. Uh, with two graduates starting up a business together, uh, they have little experience in the business world, um, presumably being their first business. Um, as they're coming from the same university as well, they have no uh, variety of past experience, so they're coming from the same background as well, which could lead to um, problems. For the routines and rituals, uh, there are weather issues, which obviously are reliant on whether they can fly drones or not. Having a lot of rain and potentially storms around, particularly in England, it can, um, it can stop them from actually flying the drones, as they're only two kilograms and they're quite small. Um, they obviously have limited opportunities to have repeat customers as they only really need to be um, used once and sometimes, um, which obviously limits them to build a rapport and a connection with the customer and limits a routine. So for the organisational structures of the company, there are currently two members of staff, which are the only two owners. Um, the company are planning on splitting into two and splitting the equity into two um, with one of the members um, with one of the members of staff planning on focusing more on the technological side of the company um, and the other planning on staying as they currently are with the drone technology. Uh, I'm going to present a long personal part. Firstly, the laws allow very little access to the drone for the local and national or political and legal. And then the United States and Japan is um, far more allowed and accepted for the job. Then the economy is difficult to develop because there are many restricted in the United Kingdom. Then there are many international companies are more worldwide are uh, using the job economically. Um, local and national uh, social culture aspects are very limited to be affected. However, in the international, there are many countries use strong for uh, good work. Then, <coughs> the technology of drone is developing in the United Kingdom. Um, and then, more and more countries focus on the technology of drone.
um, finally the few impact of drone for the environment in the United Kingdom. However, there are some news about drones affect the agriculture in the international. And then move to the uh, Porter 5 forces. Firstly, the bargaining power of consumer is uh, really strong because they have many choices. Um, the bargaining power of supplier is weak because they supply at a stable and valid relative price for the threat of the substitute is very little because the demand of John is increasing nowadays then threat of the new entry is real because the low cost entry and the exist of the present technology Finally, the competition in the drone industry is increasing because the many areas have not been developed. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing internal analysis which includes SWAT and TOES for the uh, Drone 360 vision. Um, a few strengths I would say would be that they're quite easy to move things such as equipment and um, to other countries where legislation is more lenient. Um, the price is now reduced from £1,500 down to £750. Um, in order to fly a drone. Um, they're also used for agricultural purposes um, and offer a unique way to do the job as they can do it more efficiently, um, such as places in Yemen where they scan the ground uh, for farming. Uh, weaknesses, the Civil Aviation Authority gives the drone industry one of the most restricted uh, drone zones. Uh, with this, it comes that there is no work around the city as all of the areas are restricted areas. Uh, the police are often disregarding illegal flyers in the in the city and other restricted areas, which doesn't really help them as a as a company as they can't get over it. Yeah, there are lots of unlicensed pilots which allows them to do the work uh, illegally for companies, and they can offer it for cheaper. And the weather in this country can often be quite unpredictable, so it stops them from being able to fly easily. Uh, going on to toes, the strengths and opportunities section. There are, the drones can be used to take lots of pictures and photos and videos of events and they can also be used for agricultural purposes which helps them be more diverse and then they can go into different markets. Um, for opportunities to overcome their weaknesses, if they open social media accounts they would be able to gain more exposure and subsequently gain more business as a result. They have only one drone which could hinder drone 360 vision as they often can't do things together because they are trying to do different things. Um, the strengths to overcome threats would be that the company can use the vast variety of what they offer in terms of using the drone for a multitude of purposes in order to connect with more and more businesses which will hopefully limit the threat of expensive equipment as they are receiving more business. Firms are starting to outsource towards small independent com companies like Drone 360 Vision who are offering competitive prices um, that often come cheaper than, than training their own staff them, themselves. Um, in the future, the company would adopt the idea of catching drones in the cities, which in turn would allow them to minimise the weakness of there being no work in and around the city. They would also be uh, eliminating the threat of unlicensed pilots in the city. Uh, they can use technology for media purposes, such as taking photos and videos for events such as weddings and birthdays. Um, they are looking to countries like Japan to adopt the idea of drones catching other drones in order to stop malicious behaviour taking place in, uh, in and around restricted areas. The threats for the company would be that, again, that there are unlicensed pilots who can do the same job for cheaper, which doesn't give them any incentive to uh, do that job.